Okay, guys, here we are back again. Tip number four for street tips. I gave you one, two, and three. Probably going to give you about 10, probably a few bonus ones, but this is going to be tip number four, okay? But before I give you tip number four, please like and subscribe. I've been noticing on my uh, analytics for YouTube that about 80% of you watch my videos, but you don't subscribe yet. So please subscribe, support the channel, allow me to make more content. If you find this stuff valuable, please smash that like button, hit the subscribe button and it would further help me uh, along on this journey of mine. But here we go, street tip number four, interact with people, learn their stories, okay? This is a different one, right guys? Because not everybody approaches people the same way, but if you would like to hear my kind of technique on how I approach people in the street for street portraits, please check the YouTube video linked above here, and I'll also put the link below in the comment section really long video but really insightful and i think you guys would find it helpful but learn about your subjects right so don't just go up to somebody and just snap a picture of them interact with them learn their story talk with them okay sometimes people have a lot of anxiety about approaching people and you'll find out that the more you do it the less it really is a big deal okay you start you start getting used to it um i like to try to pick out something as an opener right if you give me a little crack a little chink in your armor i'm going to find a way in and i'm going to be able to talk to you so i'll find something interesting whatever drew me to this person that i wanted to take a picture of them and i'll compliment them or i'll just bring up a you know an interesting topic about whatever they're wearing or about their look or about you know their clothes or their tattoos or just anything in general that caught my attention and i'll spark up a quick eye contact a quick conversation with them and i'll learn about their story i'll talk to them for a half a second i'll ask you know anything uh, where they're from you know like tell me you know the the idea behind you know your tattoo or whatever it may be and then while i'm talking to them i'll put it yo let me get a quick picture of you let me get a quick portrait of you on the street okay but before i do that i'm gonna have all those other tips that i showed you in one two and three already set I'm gonna have my focal length picked out. I'm gonna have my camera set up for a street portrait. I'm gonna have my exposure pretty much dialed in to what I wanna do. The last thing I wanna do to somebody is approach them and take up their valuable time that they're going to give me for a street portrait. And then I'm fiddling around with my camera because I don't have anything set up correctly. So I'm gonna have everything set up. I'm gonna see that interesting person and I'm gonna spark a conversation. I'm gonna start engaging with them. I'm gonna learn about them and then while I'm talking with them, I'm gonna ask them for a street portrait. If they give me a yes, then I'm gonna take my time. Don't rush it. They've given you an okay. You're having a, an exchange. You're having a back and forth one-on-one. -on -one. Take a few portraits. Consider telling a story, and I'll get into that in a further tip. But take a few different portraits. Take a couple different angles. Take some detail shots if you're looking at the rings on their finger or if you're looking at you know their tattoos or their hat or something that they're wearing on a jacket or something dial in on that and use that as part of your storytelling kind of photo montage of this particular incident this particular person okay and then talk with them engage and then after you're done thank them for their time okay thank them for their time have a nice conversation follow them on instagram show them your instagram show them your youtube your website whatever you have for social media but have a back and forth exchange if you want to offer to send them the photo offer to send them the file um you'll find that this collaboration this talking between people really opens up a lot of avenues in your photography that you never know where it's going to lead right you're going to meet somebody really interesting and if you just quick take the picture and then you walk away or and, and that's it you're never going to know what it could have been so take your time engage with people be genuine okay a smile goes a long way and just learn about people and just embrace this whole thing that is street photography and just enjoy the moment enjoy what you're doing and that's going to come across be open and honest about what you're doing too don't hide it don't shy away and sneak the camera if you're going to take a picture just go and take a picture if you're going to ask somebody for a picture 
just go and ask them for a picture. The worst that they're going to say is no. Okay. And then you walk away. It is what it is. Um, but if you want to hear more about my tips and techniques on how I approach people for street portraits, please go and check that link below for that YouTube video. I think it'll be very helpful for a lot of people because I know this is a really, really difficult people uh, situation for people. It's really, really difficult. A lot of people don't have a problem going out and taking architecture shots, taking shots on the street, just, you know, random stuff. But when it comes to approaching people and having a one-on-one -on -one conversation, people have so much anxiety and I understand that, but there's a way to get past it. And hopefully my tips can help you. And, uh, please like, and subscribe. I hope you enjoy this format and there's going to be plenty more to come. See you guys on the next one later.